The International Consumer Electronics Show is in full swing in Las Vegas this weekend, and that's where we find our science and technology correspondent, Daniel Seberg. Daniel, good evening. What's new? Hi, Priya. Yeah, I'm here at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, Nevada, and we're coming to you over the internet on Skype. That's a video chat service. And you know, the Consumer Electronics Show has been around for 41 years. The home computer and the VCR debuted here. So we've come to find out what's the next big thing. If you're a high-tech toy, this is the place to be seen. As more than 2,700 companies show off what's in the digital pipeline for the months and years to come. It's always the future. It's always exciting to see the future. The MindFlex from Mattel definitely seems futuristic. Thanks to sensors in the headset, it uses the energy from your brain waves to power a small fan, helping move a ball through this mini obstacle course. It may truly be the ultimate thinking cap. Plenty of new eye candy, including this touchscreen watch phone combo from LG. But there's one consistent theme. Many of the products here are about the next generation, so making them sleeker or smaller. Like this high definition camcorder from Samsung, smaller than a can of soda. And what goes for video cameras also goes for televisions. Like Panasonic's newest debut, its ultra thin screen. What makes this difference is just that we were able to shrink the size of the components that go into it. Nothing more sophisticated than that. But this year, the G Wiz factor is somewhat subdued by the troubled economy. Things have been scaled back because previous years, it's, it's usually a madhouse and it's just not quite there this year. And yet that hasn't slowed the pace of invention at some companies. Organic light emitting diodes. What does that mean exactly? It means a light emitting device that is enabled by the use of organic materials or organic molecules. The material is carbon based and doesn't need as much power. OLEDs are in a few TVs now, but it may end up on your wrist. One of the things that we're focusing on is wearability. So this is a prototype that we've actually built for the military for use on the cuff. Seeing is believing. And whatever your reason for coming. I like all the Bluetooths. I like everybody on the phone. And it's a great place to meet girls. It's hard to walk away without feeling like you caught a glimpse of the future. For many people, this is the biggest event of the year. Geeks and industry insiders wait patiently to see the newest technologies. Priya? Daniel, there are so many whiz-bang gadgets there. What's your favorite item? You know, I'd have to say it's probably the watch from LG. Uh, you know, right now we're broadcasting to you from my computer, but maybe in the future, who knows, it could be from my watch. Daniel Seberg in Las Vegas for us tonight. Thank you so much.